In this tutorial, we will use Microsoft Excel to calculate the net present value and internal rate of return for a capital project. Given our example data highlighted, the first thing we need to do is calculate the net cash flows for each time period covered by the project's life. The net cash flow for any time period is simply the cash inflows for that time period minus the cash outflows for that time period. As you can see for the initial investment, that's a negative number because the initial investment represents an initial cash outlay and there's no offsetting cash inflows. We can drag that formula to the other time periods to calculate the net cash flows for those time periods. Once we have the net cash flows for all of the periods in the project's life, we can calculate the net present value. To do so, we want to click in a free cell, type an equal sign, then the letters NPV for net present value. The first parameter is rate, which is going to be the discount rate given in the problem. 5% in this case. And then for the rest of the parameters, we want to highlight just the future cash flows for the project's life. Because of the way Excel handles the net present value function, we only want to highlight the future cash flows for this project, not the initial investment. Close that function. And that value represents the present value of the future cash flows in the project. We will note our initial investment below that. And then to find the net present value for this project, we subtract the initial investment from the present value of the future cash flows of the project. In this case, we have a net present value of $3,004.84. Next, we'll find the internal rate of return of the project. Again, click in a free cell, type an equal sign, and then the letters IRR for internal rate of return. And our values parameter, in this case, is going to be all of our cash flows, including our initial investment. Close that function and hit enter. And we can see that this project has an internal rate of return of 7%. To be more precise, click on that result. Come up here to the increase decimal shortcut button and click it twice. This project has an internal rate of return of 7.21%. Now remember, if our internal rate of return is greater than our discount rate, our net present value will be greater than zero. If our internal rate of return is less than our discount rate, our net present value will be less than zero. And if our internal rate of return is equal to our discount rate, our net present value will be exactly zero. So as you can see in our example, our internal rate of return of 7.21% was greater than our discount rate of 5%, meaning our net present value should be a positive number. And it is, so we're probably on the right track.